The city of Golden Valley is doing some work on an area that has had flooding issues over the years. The Winnetka Avenue, Medicine Lake Road, and Decola Ponds area was first developed in the 1960s. At the time, wetlands were filled in and impervious surfaces were added, creating problems for water flow. We eliminated some of the places for water to go during that time. So now what we're seeing with the you know, climate change and a warmer and wetter climate, we're expected to get a lot more rainfall, a lot more flooding in the future. And so we already have a flooding issue, a chronic flooding issue in the Winnetka Medicine Lake Road area and the Decola Ponds neighborhood. And so with, with all that extra water coming in the future, we need to do something. This year's project, taking place at the Sea School and Wildwood Park, will create temporary storage basins for water after a rainfall so it doesn't end up in homes and businesses and damage infrastructure. In order to create flood storage, you, act, you have to excavate, right? You have to dig. We will be creating uh, stormwater basins that are like very large rain gardens. If it's a pretty minor rainfall, it would just flow into the first basin. Um, that would help clean and treat the water and store it temporarily. Um, if we had a larger rainfall than that, the, the water would flow into the next basin, which would be more of a wet prairie or a wetland basin. And then um, if we had a much larger rainfall, it would flow into sort of the last basin, which is more of a dry prairie. So typically it will not have water in it, but if we get enough rain, you know, four or five inches or more in one short storm event, then we would see even the dry prairie area would, would fill up with water temporarily. In the days following a rainfall, water would be released slowly downstream to avoid flooding. While the main goal is flood mitigation, there will be other benefits like improving water quality in Bassett Creek and a better park area to enjoy. There'll be a, a diversity of uh, ecology and habitat in this area, so there'll be an improvement when it comes to habitat and the environment and wildlife and pollinators. There's new trails that'll be going in, so looped trails throughout this park that we don't see here today, um, and just opportunities to engage more with sort of wildlife and the natural environment. The project is in the design stage with construction expected to start in the fall and continue through the winter to minimize disruption to park users. Golden Valley is looking for your input. Go to goldenvalleymn.gov and search Sea School Wildwood Park to see the designs and learn how to provide comments. Learn more about the connection at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.